So August came. On the Polish lowlands there is, like the previous months of this year, extremely hot and dry. Wild, non-irrigated areas were incinerated, dust covers everything, and the juicy green gave way to the yellow and grey. There is a hot and dry summer. It is 8 p.m. and the temperature in the shade still exceeds 30 degrees Celsius. Summers are hot but the temperature anomaly has been going on for several last years. From April this year, it has an extremely strong impact on the Polish lowlands. Most of the nectaring plants have dried up, at least stopped to secrete nectar a long time ago. Climatologists are of the opinion that the greenhouse effect has been accelerated by positive feedback. Melting and boiling of methane clathrus in the far north, in shallow seas and permafrost, will accelerate the warming process several times in relation to its current pace. Not for all animals, climate warming is threatening at the moment. Due to the high temperature, the reach of the European hornet is widening. Back in the 90s of the last century, the northern border reached the Baltic Sea. Today, thanks to the longer vegetation season, the hornets also settle much deeper into the Scandinavian peninsula. This summer is extremely hot. At the entrance you can see a fan and other workers bringing water to evaporate, while she sets the air in motion to make the water evaporate faster. The other workers distribute it, wetting the slices and walls of the nest. Hornets are predators, workers leave not only for water but also to get meat in various forms. These three are going to hunt. One hornet worker found the entrance to the hive. He tries to capture the bee, which he then kills and have strong rifles, turning into a ball of nutritious meat. It happens that at one time it kills more bees than it can capture. Finding an easy swine that is defendless bees, will come back here every five minutes, killing more. He takes them to the nest as food for developing predatory larvae there. A few hornets can destroy a dozen thousandth swarm of bees in a short time. Looking at the landing hornet gatherer, you can see a molded meatball from a previously killed bee. He transfers it in his powerful mandibles. However, family of bees have to face not only with them. After sunset, other invaders appear. Barbers are moths, quacks moths, attacking bees and bumblebees combs. If they manage to get inside, and the bee family would not patrol some places of the nest, the female moths visible here would be ready to lay eggs there. The caterpillars hatched from them eat their wax off honeycombs and pollute the beehives with their droppings. As a result, in a bee colony, there is a risk of an epidemic occurring in addition to damage. You can see how good this moth is where the entrance to the hive is. Very fast movement of the antennae allows to read the direction from which the characteristic smell of a beehive spreads. Thanks to this ability, they do not need light and can operate under the cover of total darkness. Moths diagnosed by workers hastily elude a slightly more distant position, then they prepare the blow again. These adult butterflies do not eat anything, so they have a limited life, they must hurry and sometimes risk premature termination of their lives, just to place the eggs in the right place. For a moment another barista species appeared, bigger one moth, it leads a similar lifestyle as a smaller. This moth was unlucky, he entered the outlet and the bees saw it, they attacked, destroying the intruder, if he chose a very weak or dying family, he would be more fortunate and most likely the female would lay her eggs, this moth, however, the bees guards will kill and then be thrown out, bees work very well and quickly, the moth did not have the slightest chance. 